Reign of Madness is a new expansion free campaign for Demia. Uh, myself and the F Reality crew got a chance to play this early. We played it just this past weekend, and it's really good fun. It's also very challenging. So here are five tips to help you off in your first game. <laughs> well, why is that on me? Whoa, there's a giant hand. Oh, wait, that's just... No, never mind. That's just right. <laughs> Firstly, the elven summoners are nasty, nasty, nasty pieces of work. Uh, essentially, what they do is they act like a mobile artillery base firing out portals. The portals themselves are complicated because they have um, multiple <laughs> modes of operation. You have a baby portal, a teenage portal, and then a grown-up portal. Uh, and the way it works is, if there's enough like Another small one. portals oh near each other, uh, they start to auto-destruct and merge. And if you see this happening, you really have two potential options. Uh, you can either go after the portals, or what we preferred after learning our after a few laps was go after the guy who's spawning them. Take down the elven summoners as fast as possible. Like if you have to spread your party out to kind of like go clobber them, you do. But what the elven summoner will also do is they do a pushback attack and then they'll lift up and zip across the map and, and plant uh -oh. down What's somewhere else and then start shooting out portals again. But what you can't really do is just wait for the portals to kind of keep merging, spitting giant, you know, enemies out, more and more mobs keep Holy coming. It, it just doesn't work. It's not a winning formula. <laughs> you get overrun. So priority number one, Elven Summoners in the new expansion. Uh, number two, the new Barbarian class. He's pretty cool, but um, he's a little bit more like a tightrope walker than a Barbarian, I would say, from other games. Um, and when he's doing his chain attack, which is a little bit like a scorpion Kamir, um, he can pull himself to a, to a ground target or attack enemies. And there is a little bit of a confusing thing currently in the overlay. If your chain attack goes over an enemy, it'll show a cross over them and it looks like you're going to attack the enemy and move, but in fact, you're just going to move. So before you get yourself in that pickle, realize that it's, it's essentially you're, you're choosing move or attack. Now, if you choose to attack with him, uh, he's pretty cool because he can even like leap over buildings Damn, and stuff, dude. Uh, but he'll heal. So if you attack an enemy and you get pulled towards it, he doesn't have a shield uh, per se, like the assault class, uh, but he does have the ability to kind of give himself a boost as long as he keeps kind of like hurting enemies. So that's really neat. Uh, the other thing about the new, the new expansion is uh, Reign of Madness has uh, an outdoor environment. You're no longer underground. You're no longer in a dense, dark forest. You're outside. Um, but there is a bit of loss in terms of situational awareness. So just be careful about that because there's so many buildings blocking various things. It's very easy not to see, again, one of those sneaky little, you know, uh, juniper bush sized portals that then decides to merge with something else and starts spitting out bad guys. So I would say watch out with your situational awareness because of the tall buildings. Now, tip number four. Uh, Curse of the Serpent Lord introduced the uh, Warlock class um, and a cat. Those are very effective at actually combating all the stuff that's going on the board because out of all the expansions that Demio has offered, this is by far the busiest one. There are so many things happening at once. We were actually able to kind of counter them, uh, but at the same time, it is a challenging expansion. So expect more, and if you're a Demio player, you're going to like that. But bring the Warlock class along. She goes really, really well, you know, like with an archer. Uh, another thing that's new in this one, and this is the fifth tip, is hired help. Because you need as much as you can to force, you know, fight the forces of evil, uh, hired help, which is available, you know, 200 gold he? coins here or there uh, on the map as a little exclamation mark that you'll see. You. Um, just go there. You can hire somebody, walk up to them, ask them their price uh, or whatever. Uh, we hired a, a guy who had like a crossbow and was pretty good at attacking bad guys. Now, they were a little bit short-lived, we found. A bit like the Diablo franchise when you hire a mercenary. You know, they don't live forever, so um, it buys you a little bit of time. The coin 
the coin cost is a bit high uh, for the team, you know, to take that much of a hit. So if you're going to do it, um, consider your options, right? I w you might want to, you know, balance out your class instead of hiring the help. Uh, but at least it's there, and it is helpful when you're when you've got like a bunch of different things coming at you. So those are the five tips. Quick summary: Elven summoners are no good. The Barbarian is nice, but just be mindful of the attacks. It's going to take you a little while to kind of learn that. Hopefully this tip helped you out. Situational awareness with the tall buildings is a little bit reduced. Uh, Curse of the Serpent Lord gave us the Warlock. Use the Warlock in this okay. one. This will cause some ache. Hired help is expensive, but may get you out of a pickle. And finally, uh, Heroes Hideout is a great little place to kind of get together before you jump into a game the comic books the little figurines just gotta love it man the love that resolution games have put into this one absolutely love it thank you very much for the early access that was super fun uh i'm gonna be playing more of this over the holiday season oh there's me yeah i can take him whoa you're like a th he's like using you as toilet paper man <laughs> he looks like he's rubbing your <laughs> his ass with Jose. <laughs> Bye. I said goodbye. Now it's polite if you would leave. Play the time.